Hey everyone, it's Luther from Anime Girl, and I'm back again, but not quite with another unboxing video. So I'm going to look into changing up the format here with how I present our new shipments. Instead of unboxing each individual item, I think I'm going to unbox everything and then just take the camera and look at what we got. This will help me really organize the video in a more efficient way. I can start using the timestamps down in the comments a lot more efficiently. And this way you guys can get the best video experience possible. But let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with the figures we got in today. Nothing super exciting. Today's figures are going to be mostly restocks. Here we've got the Bandai Stylings Deku as well as the Bandai Diecast Swordfish. And here we've got some blind box sets with the Nier Automata weapon set as well as the Godzilla minifigure set. Then we've got a Proplica from Phantom Thief Gene. And then finally, we've got a restock on this really nice Igus figure from Persona 3. Then for the new Bandai kits, we've got the Z vs. Penelope from Hathaway's Flash. And here are some of the other new kits we got. We've got the option parts for the Cell Sam arm, so now you can give pretty much any high grade kit you want a crazy arm. We've got the high grade L dagger from Gundam Seed. And then, not quite your standard Bandai kit, but we got the Lozingon from Sentinel. Moving on, we've got a few smaller Bandai kits here. We've got the entry grade RX-78, then a few option part sets. Here we've got the high grade tri slash blade as well as the Mercurion weapons. Then we've also got a couple of master grades. We've got the wing as well as the recently released mobile gin from Gundam Seed. As for the Gundam High Grades today, we've just got the Nobel Gundam and the God Gundam from G Gundam. And then we've got the Amazing Exia from Gundam Build Fighters. As for our non Bandai kits, we've got the Pac Man Pack model. This is an entry grade kit. Then we've got the Haro Kitty, which is the Hello Kitty crossed with Gundam. And then we've got the recently released Tanjiro model kit. Next up, we've got the Pipla. And here is an option part set for a 30 minute mission. As well as this is technically a new kit, but this is the high grade Juggernaut from the Anime 86. And then we got a bunch of One Piece model kits in today, including a couple of ships like the Going Merry as well as the Thousand Sunny. And we've got a good number of these Chopper Robos. These are all going to be the Robo Supers, which if you collect all five of these Robo Supers, you can combine them together to make one much larger Chopper model kit. Then we've also got a couple of tool items from Mr. Hobby. We've got the basic tool set as well as a couple of scribers. Here's a few miscellaneous kits. We've got the Zulfikar from Frame Arms Girls, as well as the, this is kind of a MSG option part set, which makes a skirt for your Frame Arms Girl. And then here we have something from a new manufacturer for us. This is the Biker Girl from Mang, which this is a resin kit, so it does require glue and paint. 
Here we've got a few kits from Ashima. We've got a different Gunbuster model kit from the one we've had before. Then we've got the Mecha Godzilla, which this is a snap together kit, unlike the other Godzilla kits we've had recently. And we've got our first Marcross kit that we've been able to get through official channels. And it's one of these cool Marcross scroll kits. Now here are the kits I am personally most excited for. I don't really know what to say about them other than they're robots piloted by nuts. And that's really cool. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to pick up a set of these. And we've got a couple more model kits from that same company. We've got these Battleship Yamato inspired kits that are definitely, you know, naval spaceships as well as these ninja girls which these are i believe 124th scale so they're kind of small but you do get two bodies with each the both the white body and the colored body for hasagawa we've got a couple of the wego kits which we've had the milk and cacao wego before but the cream soda and crystal are new for us and we've got these a tiny Mechataro mates, which are just little robot friends for your Wigos. Then for something a little bit more photorealistic, we've got the Chubu 01. As well as the Nutcracker from Machine Krieger. Then finally for Hasegawa, we've got some egg planes, which egg planes are basically like SD model kits, but for instead of being for Gundams, they are for just real life planes. We've got two variants of these egg planes. We've got these basic ones that just come with the plane, and then we've got these other kits that have the plane with a 1 12th scale unpainted girl model. And that's going to do it for today's unboxing video. Definitely a bunch of really cool, interesting model kits. Hopefully this new format for the videos is working out well. I'm, again, hoping to make sure I get these videos out a little bit quicker than I have been in the past. Just because they, these videos have a tendency of aging very quickly with uh, things selling out within a few days of us getting them. But as always, if you want to stay fully up to date with what we get at the shop, be sure to check our Facebook and our website where we post full list of what comes in. You can also stop by here at YouTube or Instagram and uh, Twitter where I post quick little videos the day we get shipments in that are just kind of quick scans of when we get stuff in. Those are a great way to get a head start in seeing what comes in. But as always, thanks for watching.